Hi guys, welcome back. It is definitely a highly requested video to share my entire Chanel handbag collection with you guys. I'm just happy and I'm finally doing it. After buying Chanel bags for more than 10 years, I've sold quite a lot of Chanel bags that did not work out for me. Now I feel I have a collection that makes me really happy. In the end, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time to talk about if I have reached my purse piece with Chanel bags. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which bag is your favorite. Also also, let me know about your collection and if you have reached uh, your purse piece with Chanel bags. Today's sequence, I'm gonna start from the largest bag and then go to the smallest bag one by one. Without any further ado, let's just get started. So the first bag, a lot of you might have this bag. It's called Chanel GST, aka Grand Shopping Toe. It's a bag from many, many years ago. They didn't have developed toe back then. This one is in black color, caviar leather, and gold hardware. Because it's caviar leather, it's really easy to take care of. I really put it on the floor and everywhere, and I will carry it as a carry-on bag when I travel. Because it's a tote, it actually can hold a lot of stuff. It has two compartments in the, the bottom, and there's some pocket on the side, more pocket on the other side. Although it's a discontinued bag already, but I really like this bag because it can hold a lot of stuff. You don't need to baby it, and I carry it as work bag before the crazy situation now. I bought this bag uh, many, many years ago when I was in NYC, and I remember it was my birthday. At that time, I already owned a few Chanel bags, and I wanted to have a tote, which I didn't have yet. That's why I went to the Fifth Avenue store in NYC. I was like, oh wow, I like this tote. It's really nice, and I bought it. And I remember I paid a little over $3,000 and nowadays actually if you do like this style it's actually really good deal to find it from the secondhand market i'll share some link in the description down below that where you guys can find this from the secondhand reseller website definitely not every chanel bag is gonna help you to make money especially the discontinued ones you just not gonna make money from them but i feel like if i'm still wearing it if I'm keeping it, it doesn't matter what the resale value is, right? There's some small wear on the corner. I don't think you can avoid this because I really didn't baby this bag. But considering after so many years, it's still pretty good. I think this is a good buy. Second, this is the Chanel medium to large classic flap in caviar leather, gold hardware, and black color. If you saw my other video about my Chanel classic flap, you probably already saw this bag. I have a dedicated video to talk about all my Chanel classic flaps prices and uh, wear and tear over the years. This one is over 10 years old already. Can you believe it? Still in such a great shape. I remember how happy I was when I got this bag and I paid only 2600 plus tax for this bag. You guys not gonna believe it. This one I bought in New Jersey Shore Hills Mall because I wanted to save some tax money. So I drove all the way from NYC to New Jersey to save some tax. This is how it looks. It's a double flap and uh, the strap and then there's pocket here and another pocket and then this is the lipstick slot and this is the zipper where you can put some uh, letter here love letter supposedly in the back pocket I also mentioned this in the other video is that I wore this bag so much because it was my first Chanel bag and I didn't have that many designer bags yet back then so I wore this bag like multiple times each week it totally associated with so much good memory about NYC and my youth that's why I cherish it so much I think I will never let this bag go because it's just so special to me. Uh, Chanel classic flap in beige color and champagne gold hardware or LIGO hardware. And the leather is the iridescent caviar leather. It's so pretty. I, I still can't get over how pretty this, this bag is, especially under the sun. It's insanely beautiful. I bought this bag in Europe and I paid about 4,800 euro for it. 
the exchange rate was pretty good back then so i got a pretty good deal and i was so happy that i was able to get this back because actually when i went to the store there was a little bit drama if you watch my unboxing video somebody bought this bag but didn't pick it up but eventually the person did not pick it up and the store agreed to release this bag to me i was so happy i almost didn't think that i could get this bag so i think it meant to be because i wanted this bag so badly because a beige color chanel is like a forever classic piece every girl wants this this color after you have a black bag right <laughs> The other thing that I notice is that I don't know if this is a collection, but I, I definitely feel every year's caviar leather is different. This caviar leather is probably the best caviar leather that I have got among all these caviar bags that I have because it's so sturdy. It just feels really good quality compared to the other ones. I think I have this bag a year and a half, so I didn't have it for too long yet. So I'll just have to keep wearing it and i'll keep you guys posted on and here but so far this is like a perfect bag you can see so beautiful it's so perfect even the inside of flap is iridescent a little bit and then i'll have paper stuffed the lipstick slot and all the pocket is the same and same pocket and there's a pocket in the back actually the leather still smells so new i think this will definitely be a forever piece for me the next one is a pink shiny caviar leather champagne gold hardware you can see right the caviar is more shiny than but it's really not the iridescent one like the other one but it's definitely a pretty one after you have more colors black beige and you just want some other colors i think it's always a good idea and even i'm getting older now i still feel like pink give me life and young feeling and every time when i wear it it makes me happy i bought this one in the san francisco boutique i paid about 5300 plus tax at that time the price is already crazy and i can't even imagine nowadays it costs 6500 usd plus tax to get one classic flap anymore this is the classic flap in medium to large size as well and the back pocket inside it all looks really good it doesn't have obvious wear and tear i think it's definitely in great condition this one is a chanel rectangular mini in pale pink and brush gold hardware it's in calfskin this one is such a pretty one so many of you have asked me if i could sell this bag and definitely keep you guys posted if i will be selling this bag i have an unboxing video on this bag and i also have a rectangular and square mini comparison video and which i showed you guys a little bit about this bag also single flap and strap is pretty long and calfskin actually feels really nice although majority of my bags are calfskin caviar leather inside has some pocket you can wear it as a shoulder bag you can wear it as a crossbody i bought this one in a san francisco boutique i also talk about price in the square mini and a rectangular mini comparison video i got it before all these crazy price increases just really happy with it and this one is definitely super hard to get things like this definitely goes for higher in the secondhand market nowadays already so this is my chanel rectangular mini in caviar leather silver hardware and it has a back pocket and uh same thing the mini is a really great deal because uh, you can still see the strap the binding i put it inside as a shoulder bag to change the length of the strap inside it looks the same it just has a zipper pocket and then another pocket outside the minis are such great deals classic flaps are so expensive nowadays if you want to get mini relatively speaking their prices are still reasonable i would totally consider getting a mini if they're available this one is in caviar leather so pretty carefree and i don't need to baby it although it's in light color but so far it seems to be it's pretty okay with me i don't see any wear and tear i'm really happy about it i also got this one in san francisco boutique i was telling my essay that 
if he can get the rectangular mini that I like, I'll buy four bags from him every single year. And he would text me or call me, there's a mini coming. But some of it I also got on the wait list in order to get these. And I still think this is a great purchase. I'm really happy with it. Chanel boy with the top handle in small size. I think this one is from a special collection. I forgot if it was from the Dallas collection, but it was really special also with the top handle. So boy bag, the resale value compared to the classic lines are definitely not as good. I wanted a boy bag really, really bad at that time. When I saw this collection, especially with a top handle, I was so happy about it and it just turned out to be a right decision because I have some friends that they have the regular boy or their boy the, the top of the bag started getting really thin and the, the shape of the bag does not hold very well over the year bag became like a triangle shape which was totally not good but I think because this bag has a top handle or because this bag is on the smaller size it holds the shape so well I don't have any problem with it I remember it was so expensive that I remember the price in the US because it was 5200 USC plus tax when I was in New York so I got it in Europe I don't remember exactly how much it was. It was like 4,000 something euro. Calf skin is actually really good. I don't have any wear and tear. The corners of the boy bag are pretty good too. I don't see any wear and tear and I don't have any problem with it. And because it's black, I also never baby it. After so many years, I still like this bag a lot. It's super cute and it's still cool looking and smaller bags are still in trend. The only downside I have to say is that because of the Ruthenia hardware, it's super heavy. It's so heavy. Let me show you guys. So you press this and then you open it. And a lot of people complain the interior of the boy bag are not leather yeah they're not leather they're fabric in interior i don't know if you can see it's a little bit dark yeah but basically they're fabric inside not like classic flap but i don't mind it it gives a more casual and cool vibe so you can tell right the strap is just super heavy it's still a very good purchase for me personally because I have so many classic flaps and I wanted some variety and this is add a different style to my collection. Really happy with it. Also because it's a special bag that I bought with hubby when we were in Paris. So it definitely brought back some memories about that trip. So the last one you guys probably already see in the rectangular and square mini comparison video. This is the cutest square mini and it's in dark beige color and champagne gold hardware in a caviar leather. This is how it looks in the back, it's pocket and because it's caviar leather, it's such great quality because the fact is beige color, it goes with so many different outfits and there's pocket inside. I showed you guys how to adjust the, the strap length in the other comparison video and uh, if you guys are interested feel free to check it out. It was definitely really really hard to get this one and I have an unboxing video for this one as well if you're interested to know the story. I would say this one is the cutest the Chanel bag that I have. I really don't mind to get another mini but it just has to be the right color and leather and all the combination that I I like so we'll see about that uh, i bought this in uh vegas and i didn't see this bag at all the sales associate mailed this bag to me i was so happy i was able to hunt it down though it's definitely not a easy bag for me to get after so many years i still like it so much i carry it pretty often because a lot of times if i don't want to carry a lot of things i just throw my all my essentials in there i think this will be a forever piece for me the thing is, no matter how many Hermes bags that I have, I feel like I always have something for Chanel bags and a part of me are just like, oh my gosh, Chanel bags are still so pretty and so cute. I'm actually still closely monitoring all the new collections that come out, but it's just that I haven't seen anything really caught my eye. I'm not really sure about the Chanel 19 bag as of the state right now is that I'm really happy about my collection. I will be very picky to add any new addition to my collection but with the right 
color leather style combination I would totally consider for example I would totally consider add another square mini with the right combination so we all have to see what they are coming out in the future collections I just haven't seen anything like really caught my eye in recent collections or maybe there are one or two bags that are super cute but they're so hard to get I feel like I couldn't hunt them down so we'll really have to see so that's it for today's video don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know which one is your favorite from my collection and tell me about your collection and if you have reached your purse piece with chanel bags if you have any questions i'm happy to answer them as well please like my video subscribe to my channel and these are the motivations to make better videos for you guys and i'll see you guys next week bye bye